checking out rainfall totals from yesterday. It was feast or famine. We had an inch and a half of rain reported near Bluffton. And you have areas like Finley that came in only around a quarter inch. Bluffton and Finley not too far apart, but again, a wide range, big difference in rainfall totals. The Allen County Airport came in with over six tenths of an inch. We can see the difference here just within Allen County because at hometown stations, we only picked up four hundredths of an inch of rainfall yesterday. This morning, a couple sprinkles are out there, and today we'll bring in a couple isolated showers, light rain at that, and a couple sprinkles. These will not be the downpours that we saw yesterday, so we're not going to add much of anything more than just, again, maybe a trace of rain. At the most, you might get a hundredth of an inch of rain today, but this is not going to add up to really anything. That's worth uh, noting here, but again, today we'll see a chance for a few sprinkles out there. As we look at temperatures this morning, upper 60, 68 degrees for Elida, 67. In Cairo, we have 66 degrees right now in Lima. We look off to the south, we see temperatures again pretty uniform. We have 64 degrees in Fort Loramie. We have 65 degrees in Anna this morning. As we look off to the north, we see numbers at 67 in Ottawa and 66 in Lipsick. Temperatures the next 12 hours will climb from the 60s into the 70s. We'll see highs today around those mid 70s uh, areas that get a little more sunshine this afternoon may briefly pop into the upper 70s but again we should stay below the 80 degree mark today thanks to that cold front that came through yesterday it's bringing in a cooler air mass and we're also going to see quite a bit of cloud cover today so cloud cover will limit our warming trend today as we look at our future model here we notice the clouds really thick out there this morning so a lot of gloomy looking skies and then as we head through the afternoon, we'll see a few holes of sunshine begin to develop out there, but we'll also see a few more of these isolated showers. Again, the coverage of rain, it's not going to be great at all today, but a couple isolated sprinkles and light showers will pop up at times from late morning through the late part of the afternoon. And as we go throughout the evening, we'll start to see a little bit more sunshine break out. And as we head throughout your day Friday, more clouds than sun, the chance for an isolated sprinkle, but the main story is going to be that cooler trend in the temperatures. We had temperatures in the 90s widespread on Tuesday, but again, the next several days, we're talking 70s, and then tomorrow, we'll actually bring temperatures only around 70 for the area, so it's a nice, cool change. As we look at the forecast going into the weekend, that front that's moved through, it's actually going to just stall out to the east of us, so it's going to be a very unsettled weekend for the eastern part of the country, from New York, Pennsylvania, down through the mid-Atlantic, a lot of rain there, but we should be just far enough west to stay away from most of that rainfall. In fact, as we head into Saturday, we're going to completely dry out this forecast. We're going to keep the forecast dry through Sunday. Any shower chances would be towards Cleveland, kind of along that Pennsylvania border this weekend, or in West Virginia border as well. But we should be nice and dry, and dry weather expected to continue as we go into uh, the early part of next week as well. So again, today we'll see highs recovering to the mid-70s, a high of 76 for Lima. Tomorrow, though, only 71 for the high. We'll have mostly cloudy skies, a chance of an isolated shower. As we head through the weekend, we're going to go dry. Saturday, a little more sunshine too. So this should be a really nice kind of a fall preview in the weather this weekend. 75 on Saturday, up to 77 by Sunday, 78 Monday. We do have another cold front arriving Tuesday with a few showers and then even cooler temperatures. So if you like fall, you're going to like where this pattern's heading as highs drop to around 70 again by the later part of next week.